What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And I want to give a special shout out to all 17,000 of you who have all subscribed to my channel. Happy New Year. Hopefully 2024 is your year to go out there and be the best you can be starting off your IT careers or whatever it is that you plan on doing with your life. But aside from that, I want to go ahead and tell you guys about some of the 10 tech jobs that you should consider for the year 2024 if you plan on getting getting into IT or if you're already in IT and you want to change directions in IT. So let's go ahead and check out this list, shall we? All right. So here are 10 of the top tech jobs to consider in the year 2024. If you plan on getting into the IT industry or if you're already working in the industry and you want to change career paths within the industry. So we're going to talk about cloud solutions, architects, blockchain engineers, product managers, cybersecurity engineers, software engineers, full stack developers, UX designers, digital marketing managers, data analysts and web developers. Now, here's my disclaimer on these slideshows. You're going to see some salaries that are being advertised. Understand that these salaries are dependent upon the number of years and experience that you have working, relevant industry certifications, formal education, and any additional skills that employers think is valuable. So keep that in mind as we go through this slideshow. All right, the first one we're going to talk about is a cloud solutions architect. As you can see, they have an average salary of about $133,000 per year. And essentially what they do, they design, develop, and deploy cloud computing solutions. They help organizations optimize their cloud resources by creating efficient architectures to support business critical workloads. They identify cost-saving opportunities, and they collaborate with stakeholders to ensure successful technology implementation implementations, such as working with the developers and system administrators. And some of their core responsibilities entail the following. They design and deploy cloud solutions to meet customer requirements. They establish appropriate access controls for customer accounts, and they ensure the integrity and availability of customer data. And some of the key skill sets that you're going to have to have to become a cloud solutions architect, you're going to need to have a knowledge of cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. You're going to need to have an understanding of data security best practices and you're going to have to have the ability to troubleshoot complex technical issues. So if you want to be a cloud solutions architect making 133000 a year, these are the things that you have to do. Next on our list is that of a blockchain engineer, and they tend to average around $122,000 a year. And what they do is they design, develop, and maintain blockchain solutions. And through the use of the distributed ledger technology, they ensure the data is intact, they secure transactions, and they also help create new business models. In addition to that, they analyze existing blockchain implementations, identify areas of improvement, and they also develop smart contracts to improve efficiency. And a blockchain engineer's core responsibilities entails them creating blockchain solutions that meet customer requirements. They work with stakeholders to identify areas of improvement in existing systems, and they debug and troubleshoot complex issues related to the DLT. Now, some of the skills you're going to have to have, you're going to need an in-depth knowledge of the DLT, familiarity with programming languages such as Solidity, Ethereum Virtual machine, JavaScript, and HTML, CSS, and you need to have an understanding of integrated development environments and databases. Next, we have that of a product manager, and they tend to make about $106,000 a year. And what these people do, they develop and execute successful software development strategies. And through market analysis, they identify customer needs, develop launch plans and pricing models, and they coordinate with cross-functional teams to ensure a successful launch of a new product. In addition to that, they also create roadmaps that define long-term product objectives and features. They monitor industry trends, and they work closely with stakeholders to ensure the software is a success. Some of the things a product manager does is they identify customer needs through market research, they create product launches and pricing models, and they formulate long-term product strategies through roadmap development. And the key skills that employers are looking for, they need product management skills to coordinate across teams, they need the understanding of the software development process, and they need to have knowledge of the user interface design principles. 
Next, we have the cybersecurity engineer, and they tend to average around $102,000 a year. And what these people do, they protect data, networks, and systems from intrusions and malicious attacks. They develop and implement security designs. They assess risk to data. They detect anomalies or threats in the system before they can cause damage. They maintain secure operations across an organizations, and they audit ongoing processes to ensure compliance with all laws and regulations. And some of the core responsibilities of a cybersecurity engineer are the following. They design security measures to protect against cyber attacks. They monitor systems for unusual activities or breaches. And they develop strategies for identifying vulnerabilities and systems and the key skills you need to have. You need a thorough understanding of networking protocols and authentication methods, familiarity with encryption techniques such as tokenization and hashing. And you need experience with cloud computing environments such as AWS or Azure. Next, we have that of a software engineer, and they tend to make on average about $93,000 a year, and they design, develop, and maintain software solutions to solve business needs. And through the use of sound software development, they create reliable, efficient, and secure solutions that meet customer requirements. They perform tests to ensure software meets quality standards, and they collaborate with other engineers, testers, and stakeholders throughout the development process. And the software engineer's core responsibilities are as follows. They create software solutions that meet customer requirements. They work with stakeholders to identify areas of improvement in existing systems, and they debug and troubleshoot complex technical issues. And the key skills that a software engineer has to have, well, they need an in-depth knowledge of software development best practices. They need a familiarity with programming languages such as Java, C++, and Python, and they need an understanding understanding of integrated development environments or IDEs and databases. Next on our list is that of a full stack developer, and they tend to make about 85,000 a year, and they work with both the front end and back end of applications. They develop user interfaces and integrate them with server side logic. They create databases, they manage user authentication, they maintain web application frameworks, and they bridge the gap between the front end design and back end systems to enable them to produce highly functional websites and applications. Now, some of the core responsibilities of a full stack developer are as follows. They develop front end interfaces with HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and other technologies. They create databases for data persistence, and they manage user authentication and authorization workflows. And their chief skill sets are as follows. So you need an expertise in web application development frameworks, such as React and Angular. You need to be proficient in web programming languages, such as HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. And you need an understanding of relational and NoSQL databases such as MySQL and MongoDB. Next on our list is that of a UX designer, and they tend to average about $78,000 a year. And they create a strong user experience through intuitive design and attractive visuals. They work closely with product teams to craft designs that make products simple, enjoyable, and easy to use. And by gathering feedback, they can improve current interfaces, enhance usability, and ensure all websites and applications offer a positive and engaging experience for or the users. And their core responsibilities are as follows. They design intuitive wireframes and user interfaces based on customer requirements. They develop prototypes for testing user flow and navigation, and they create high fidelity mockups for review and feedback. And their key skills, they need to have a strong knowledge of design principles, such as color theory, topography, and layout. They need proficiency in design tools, such as Figma, Sketch, and Adobe Creative Suite. And they need to understand of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, in addition to other web development languages. Next on our list is that of a digital marketing manager, and they have an average salary of about $74,000 a year. And what they do, they create plans and strategies to promote products and services online. They develop digital campaigns across social media, search engines, and other digital platforms. They build relationships with influencers. They optimize content for engagement and website traffic. And through sound analytics and reporting, they measure the effectiveness of their strategies 
values and then make data driven decisions based on performance. And their core responsibilities are they develop digital campaigns across multiple channels. They build relationships with influencers and brands, and they create content that resonates with target audiences. And the key skills that they have to have, well, they need a proven track record in driving conversions through digital campaigns. They need an understanding of SEO, SEM tactics, and Google Analytics. And they need an expertise in web platforms such as WordPress and HTML. Five. Next, we have that of a data analyst, and they tend to make about $67,000 a year. And what they do, they collect, organize, and analyze data from data communication networks to inform decision-making processes. They use statistical tools and techniques to draw insights from data sets to provide valuable information to various stakeholders, and they develop reports presenting their analysis results in a meaningful way. Their core responsibilities are as follows. They collect, organize, and analyze data using statistical techniques. They interpret data sets to identify trends and patterns, and they develop reports that present the results of analytical findings. Their key skills are as follows. They need to have a knowledge of mathematics, statistics, spreadsheets, databases, and programming languages. They need experience with visualization tools such as Tableau, Power BI, R, and Python, and they need strong problem-solving abilities. Abilities. And then finally, we have a web developer and they tend to make on average about $64,000 a year. And what they do, they create websites and web-based applications that help businesses achieve their goals. They work with graphics, wireframes, and content management systems to develop user-friendly interfaces and test for performance and security issues. They work closely with stakeholders throughout the development process to ensure that the end result is an attractive, functional website that meets all expectations. And a web developer's core responsibilities are as follows. They design and develop user-friendly websites. They troubleshoot issues to ensure optimal performance and security. And they test and optimize websites across multiple browsers and devices. And their key skills, well, they need an expertise in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and popular frameworks such as Angular and React. They need experience with content management systems such as WordPress and Drupal. And they need an understanding of cross-browser compatibility and web optimization techniques. So there you have it, folks. These are 10 tech jobs that you should consider in the year 2024 if you are looking to start a career in IT or if you already work in the industry and you want to switch lanes in IT. So we talked about cloud solutions architect, blockchain engineers, product managers, cybersecurity engineers, software engineers, full stack developers, UX designers, digital marketing managers, data analysts, and web developers. Now, if you are brand new to IT and you have no idea where to start in tech, you have no idea what these job titles mean or what they even do, I need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button to the Tech G YouTube channel, where all I do is give out entry-level tech advice and tech education. In addition to all of that wonderful stuff, I also teach people how to get started in IT by learning some entry-level certifications, such as CompTIA's ITF Fund the middle certification, the A plus certification, the network plus certification, and the security plus certification. Now, those four certifications that I just named, they do lay down the foundational understanding of all things related to tech in terms of what is a computer? How does it work? How does it network? How do you protect it? And all four of those certifications that I just named, they can funnel you into one of those career paths that I just spoke about in my slideshow presentation. So with that being said, hopefully Hopefully you guys have a prosperous 2024. Go out there and get certified. Go get you a job and go out there and get some of this IT money. And with that, I will catch you all on the next video. Peace.